Okay, let's see how we can solve this exponential equation. The exponent, uh, it's kind of like weird, huh? Because we have e to the x plus e to the 2x. And then I think we just do like x plus 2x that's equal to 3x. Huh? This is wrong. But, well, it's wrong most of the time. Uh, I hope it's true for some of the times, right? But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Cool. Let's have a look. This is actually not so bad, because firstly, we can divide everybody by e to the x. And we can legitimately do this because, because okay, e to the x is never equal to 0. So we can divide without any worry about losing solutions. Then we will get 1 plus, this divided by that, we just do 2x minus x. That's the new exponent, which is just e to the x. Similarly, we get e to the 2x. In fact, we have a quadratic equation, but in terms of e to the x. What do I mean? We can write this as e to the x and a square. This is just e to the x, but let's move it to the other side so it becomes a negative, and then let's write it as e to the x, and let's move that to the other side, which is minus 1. Quadratic equation, quadratic formula, but we write down e to the x is equal to, all right? So here's the deal. We have the values here, be really careful. A is 1, B is negative 1, and C is equal to negative 1. And let's use the quadratic formula. Negative B plus or minus square root of B square, so negative 1 square, minus 4AC. So A is 1, and C is negative 1, and then all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. Alright, so we are looking at e to the x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root. This is 1 and then plus 4, right? So altogether we have 5 inside and all over 2. Here's the thing. e to the x is equal to this, we have the plus or minus. Square root of 5 is bigger than 1. If we do 1 minus square root of 5, we'll end up with a negative value on the right-hand side. e to the x, not only it's never equal to 0, but in fact, it's always greater than 0. We cannot have this being equal to negative unless we go to a complex world, but we are not going to. So let's just go ahead and get rid of the negative. 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. I know I'm wearing the wrong shirt. Because this right here is equal to the golden ratio. Finally, we can just take the natural log on both sides. Ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to ln of phi, the golden ratio. So a golden exponential equation like this. Very nice. 